Parshas Kedoshim Rishon. Parshas Kedoshim deals with some of the most important mitzvahs of the entire Torah. Rashi says, we're about to read, that this is the Gufei HaTorah. The majority of the Torah is in this week's Parsha. Kedoshim means to be holy. What does holy mean? Holy means to be elevated, to be special, to be different. There are 51 mitzvahs, asseiz and losa asseiz, that are in this week's Parsha. And there's actually really 70 and the reason why we say 51 because some of these other mitzvahs are mentioned in other parts of the Torah and here they are repeated. But some of first want to say that the 70 is Keneged, the 70 nations of the world. Then when we keep these 70 mitzvahs, that's what makes us special and different than the rest of 70 nations. So let's just talk about a few of the ideas that we're about to see in this Aliyah. Number one, we have the idea, the idea of Yiras Ave'im, of fearing your parents. That's right over here in this week's parasha to not contradict them to have a certain awe and fear how you look at your parents. We have the mitzvahs over here that reply, that apply to Avodah Zarah. And when it comes to Avodah Zarah, you can't even think about them. You can't even make them. They shouldn't even be your thoughts. We stay far, far away from them. Then we come to the mitzvahs of taking care of Aniyim. We have Leket, she, uh, Leket, Peah, uh, the halachos that apply to making sure you leave special grapes. We want to make sure that the Aniyim and the poor people have food when they're going through your fields. We have the assays and los assays. Then we have all the, the mitzvahs that apply to stealing. You cannot steal someone's money. You cannot steal someone's money or possessions. And you cannot hold back possessions which belongs to someone else. So if you're watching someone's basketball, he says, give it back. You say, oh, what are you talking about? That is a lot. And of course, you can't swear in that. The Chidduch says, why do we have so many mitzvahs that apply to stealing and not taking things back? He says, anything you find in the Torah that Hashem talks about a lot and gives you a lot of lavim, it's because he's saying this is important to me. Whenever you see something which comes up a lot, don't be careful with someone else's money. Don't steal with the, in the open. Don't steal at night. It's because Hashem is saying this is crucial. So we have all those halachas in this aliyah. And finally, towards the end, we have the mitzvahs of being careful how you talk to another yid. Don't curse another yid. The first say that your mouth is so special and so precious because when Hashem blew into you, right? When Hashem created man, he created him with his breath. And the Mepharshim say he gave us the power of speech. Our speech which is what makes us godlike. And that power of speech is very, very special. We have to be careful how we talk to another yet to lift them up. And chas not to curse them or put them down.